Hi, this is Susan Alser. I'm a program chair for the 2016 convention, which is going to be held in Atlanta, Georgia this year, and also your incoming president. And I wanted to invite everyone to convention today and to share with you some things that we've been doing and we're try how we're trying to incorporate advocacy into uh, every piece of the convention. Uh, one of the things that we have been trying to do is to select sessions, speakers, and, and ways of communicating with you that gives you a feel for, for and a passion for advocacy for our profession, for your students, and for yourself as an educator. Now we feel like we've done this with the kinds of people that we're bringing in and also the kinds of sessions that we are, are bringing to you this year. Uh, of course, you're always going away from convention with uh, new teaching ideas, new friendships, new connections, and uh, that's always one of the very positive things about coming to NCTE uh, on an annual basis. Uh, tying back into that passion for advocacy, we are hoping this year to have a continual conversation about advocacy, not just at convention, but to take it through the whole year. And we're planning to do that with communication with the groups and with the people that you have connected to here. So that's a very exciting piece that we're trying to add in this year, and I'm hoping that it will also encourage you to come to convention. Um, one of the other great things about convention, the location this year in Atlanta, is that there are so many uh, different avenues for you to uh, experience there and many places to see and which really kind of support and back up our advocacy theme. I don't think we could have ever found a better place to have a, a convention on advocacy than Atlanta. Uh, being all of the civil rights and all of the other types of things that are there in that area. So I encourage you to come and bring friends with you and also uh, try and bring people that you work with so that you can uh, build on some of the things that you learn in convention and take them back home with you and implement them. Teachers always, as I've talked to teachers all over the country uh, at all different levels, people tell me, well, I have a difficult time being able to get to convention. I can't afford the cost to go. Um, and I was just going to share with you some things that I've used in the past and that maybe you haven't thought of ways that you can uh, get support, financial and otherwise, for you to come to convention. Um, PTAs and SAC committees many times have funds attached to uh, their organization that uh, you can use in order to uh, go to a professional meeting. And uh, many times that will include you giving some rationale or, or writing a proposal for those, but uh, those boards sometimes will allow, they may not be able to pay for the entire convention, but can give you some expense money for going towards your trip. Uh, also, your local affiliates can help you in uh, doing this if they have funds and are able to uh, release some of those funds. If you're a new leader in an affiliate, uh, those, are, those are kinds of awards that can get you to convention and or uh, financial support that can do that for you. Uh, and then there's all kinds of different outside grants and, and monies that you can apply for. It just depends on what area you're in. So those are some sources that I've used in the past and also uh, some that, uh, depending on what area you're, you are in, can be uh, financial resources for you.